Hello, I'm Andrew Nissen. Welcome back to Hearts of Iron 4 as Communist Canada, the People's Republic of Canada, that now owns the United States because we're awesome. However, the German Reich owns the Soviets, so not great. Uh, we're launching a counteroffensive against the Axis in Spain, uh, which is starting to push them back. Uh, we have the ability to change our export focus, which we will do. We're going to go to export focus rather than free trade, and that should mean we'll be okay for resources now. See, so yeah, I don't need to import any steel. I still need to import rubber. Okay. Um, Netherlands. I'm going to just buy uh, a chunk so that, like, if... God, I don't need that much. A chunk so that I've, like, got some, like, in the bank. I don't need to keep worrying about going backwards and forwards. Uh, it's not min maxi, but, you know, I, I want it. Uh, also, the United Kingdom won't trade with me because they don't like me. Well, that's lovely, right? I'm the one holding up Europe right now. You're failing. All your troops are in the bleeding sea. And you just don't like me because I have created world tension. Well, screw you. Also, I should probably get a national focus again. Um, let's go nuclear. That was not a metaphor. Getting there. Yeah, so they're falling back. Slowly. Okay, I can't I can't get any details on their units, which is annoying. Um, do I have an airport? Did I manage to capture anywhere? No. How's Northern France looking? Uh, we're bombing. That's a great idea. You're about to recapture Northern France, but sure. Uh, England, you know what? I would, I would protect you. UK, I would protect you. I would send fighters over there, but you don't like me. And also, um, I can't send fighters over there because you're allies and I'm Soviets. But still, you'd think common cause. Okay, how are we looking? Not much political power change. It's fine. I'm spending a lot of it trying to flip nations to communism. How's your communism looking, Finland? I know you've got an election next year. Oh, wait. You are communist! Huzzah! Nice hammer and sickle there. Um, I mean, I would invite faction, but the USSR is in charge of it. So I'm going to cancel boosting the popularity there. Uh, you. China. Yeah. The reason I'm flipping China is um, I know that People's Republic of China is you know, communist already, but they're not big enough. I want to get China on my side rather than allowing them to flip to the Allies. This is holding up pretty well so far. You'd really think when the USSR capitulates that I would get the damn land, but no. Well, no, I'd not get the land, land sorry. I'd get the faction. But no. Okay. We're doing pretty well right now. Manpower is taking small hits, but only small hits. Uh, deploy all of the military police. There you go. Add you to the garrison. Just thinking about something. Oh, okay. Hopefully this will be able to... Soviet influence in Europe. Since the rise of power of the all-Union Communist Party, the Soviet Union has been working towards close relations with the Soviet... The Soviet Union has been working towards close relations with the Soviet Union. I mean, they say, love thy neighbor, but love yourself? Okay, fair enough. There's a song like that, isn't there? Anyway, although Joseph Stalin remains in office, ministers are chosen for their allegiance to the Soviet Union. A large part of the nation's sovereignty has been surrendered. So officials state that the Soviet Union is merely seeking protection as a response to Europe becoming increasingly so for small nations. The Soviet Union also reiterates that they are willing to extend such protection to any states of felt. I'm not exactly sure what's going on there because it says Soviet Union in too many places. I think what they're saying is they will protect a nation and then they'll also extend that protection to anyone else. They've seen reason. Okay. Hey, Finland. How are you doing? 
You have joined Comaturn. Okay. Well, you're probably going to get stamped on by Germany, but... So ma ma that event was, was Finland, but it was... Because they've only just appeared, so that event must have literally been Finland. Well, I pity you, but you're going to be a good second front. Now, if only I had units I could send out. I can't get through this straight. I'd have to land on this one port, which we don't even own. Siam has capitulated. Excellent. Good God riddance. Oh, South Africa. Wow. Okay. Um. Oh, what do we want now? We don't have any close air support. I haven't started building close air support. Oh, quick, get the typhoon. Produce loads. And then what else do we need? Guns, artillery. Uh, we're doing pretty well on all those sides. Like, that'll be done in a few days. Guns, that'll be done in, like, 50 days. Actually, less. 25 days, because I've got two batches. Uh, I guess. Let's look at tanks. We'll see. Since I don't know what to pick, I'm going to buff motorized as well slightly. Just slightly for now. Support weapons, that's lovely. Good go anti tank. Good against the Blitzkrieg, but it's a little bit ahead of time. So I will pass. Um, tanks I need to get, but I also need logistics and I also need field hospital because remember, field hospital is super important. I'm going to go field hospital because I already have it in my divisions. Brittany, good job. Well done, France. I approve. Yeah, they don't have enough units to cover the front, so they're starting to die in droves. Yeah, keep it up. We'll drive them before us. Yeah, keep moving. Spain suddenly recruiting more troops. Terrible troops, but they have more troops, and that's the important part. Okay, the plan is working. I'm not sure if I really expected it to work quite so well, but I think Finland's a great distraction. How is Finland actually coping? Poorly for now. Can I get military access? I can so basically I can get into Finland. And then push against the German Reich if I can get some units up there. Oh, wow, look at that. That's a lot of add-ons. Yeah. Not as many as mine. My troops are awesome. Uh, I'm going to wait for a few more to be produced before we push. I'm not training more motorized. I really should be training motorized right now. So I've got eight being produced, and I'll produce two lots in Texas. Great to take advantage of any holes that appear in their lines. Right. Well, we've got a few more units. I'm going to send over that um, army. And we'll try and defend Finland. Because the great thing about defending Finland is it opens up a second front, which has entry to Moscow. Um, it has entry to Minsk, Kiev, and eventually to Warsaw, and then to Berlin. Uh, the idea being that we can just chop down here and move around. The issue, of course, is, unfortunately, they have Turkey at the bottom defending them. And Italy is doing well in Africa. You've got enough units here, come on. Start stamping. Right, 
murder that one. Yes, you died. Yeah, okay, our reinforcements are here. Tank, help out with the killing here. Actually, not great in mountains, tanks. Hmm. Then I want a new offensive line for Bordeaux. Oh, sweet. Just let me have that province. I approve. Oh, hello. It's the Italian Navy is trying to uh, prevent any supplies getting in through here. Britain, if you could take your Navy out and kill that, that'd be grand. But no, you're going to sit there and be all passive. Uh, that's a lot of infantry I just added. I need to get some armor in to defend that, because otherwise this is just like an infantry army. I'll wait until some units of tanks have been produced. It'll be a couple of months before that happens. Finland, just have to hold on, right? You can do that. I don't think they can do that. Red Finland. I approve. 65% national unit. Oh, you might need my troops. Send the troops. Approved artillery upgrade. Lovely. Advanced artillery is too far ahead. Uh, we could go for rocket artillery upgrade. But we need to get these tanks. Let's get the ram. Nuclear effort's nearly done. Get armor effort after that. There we go. Nuclear effort. Armor effort. Alright, how's the war carrying? Good. Going over the mountains was painful in terms of manpower, but we did manage to make it. Oh, that's the Allies one, isn't it? That no, king was lost a lot. Oh no, I must be in that one. Where, where am I? I did not spot my Canadian flag. Where's my Canadian flag? Oh, there it is. I've lost half of the UK's amount for 6% war. Really? Really? You cheeky little... Ah, oh, look, they've got it all from bombing. Well, and occupation. Uh, what are they occupying? Uh, but yeah, they've got um, loads from bombing. Like, bombing actually adds a ridiculous amount to your war squad. Way too much, in fact, if, if you ask me. Um, yeah. I mean, if anything, I would cheese it by just spamming bombers now, getting some bombing war score. I'm not gonna. Might. Shush. Uh, ooh. Southern France technically has no fighters in it, but I now have an airbase. Why can I not use it? Oh, it's France's airbase. But France, we're on the same side, right? Comma turn? Yeah. Hi. Why can I not use your airbase? Yeah, screw it, I'll use this one. That's only 200. What about this one? 400. That's better. Right, I would like... 200. I would like the ability to type rather than using your widget, please. Okay, 200. And then close their support. 200. Which means I'm going to need to produce more planes, but that's fine. Also, the ability to tell planes when they're currently rebasing which region to go for is planned for the next patch, I believe. Which is going to be amazing. I still look forward to that. Uh, I think we completed my destroyers. And I don't have anything to add because I haven't researched anything. Okay, let's just get more destroyers. They're good. You want a lot of screen ships, otherwise your main ships get hit by torpedoes. The idea being your screen ships get in the way of torpedoes or, you know, take out any torpedo boats or anything. Um, and then they go in front of your main ships who fire big guns and kill other ships. 
But if you lose your screen ships, then you start suffering pretty badly. You there yet? Standing by? Gold leader, standing by. Oh, it's been sabotaged because technically it's not mine. Oh, for God's sake. Uh, I could get it back, but I need to be able to base my planes somewhere. I can base my planes here. Why couldn't I down here? Do I need, like, the provinces around it as well, maybe? You created that, um, like, attack plan when it got, like, cut in half. Why did you not just automatically assign units? Hmm? 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 Uh. Right. Push is going okay. I'm going to try and surround this one. Capturing is working. Still can't use this airbase for some reason. Oh, is it damaged? It's not damaged. Not sure. Maybe I need the port to be able to ship planes in or something? I don't know. But we've got the port now. Balkan diplomatic initiative. The United Kingdom is not alone in seeing the rising threat in the Central Europe. With their state as an independent nation guaranteed by the now challenged Treaty of Versailles or with fascist powers in their aggressive rhetoric claiming right to the territory, several states have seen need to lead a pro-British policy. No Kingdom is responding to the development of the right to belong there, uh, redoubling the efforts uh, in the region. Okay. Not that there is much left of Central Europe, but sure. Finland's going down. Where are my units? On way. Where's the other seven? Not already there. Oh, I know where they are. <sighs> it's annoying they just won't find their way automatically. Right, delay. Great. Let's keep going down that tree. Elastic defense. It'll be lovely, thank you. I need this for my planes, though. I would give you your territory back, but I need it. Some production line. Uh, that's a bit away. Construction speed we could get. More resources. Yeah, I mean, all of those are really useful. I'm going to go atomic research. Although I don't have a debuff to that. Didn't I research a decrease? Huh. Okay. Maybe it doesn't apply to the first tier. But I need someone to focus on that, because it will lead me to the rest of nuclear, which I'm probably going to get into at this stage. I don't think we're going to be able to roll over Germany as quickly. And even if we do, then we've got to face down the United Kingdom, who are best dealt with by uh, nukes. Um, I am going to rebase my planes. And then I can give you... Can I give land? Turn. Wait, I can't give land to you. I want to give the land away. Holy crap. All I want to do. All I want to do is give land away. I don't think I can end your war. Technically, when the whole of Spain is owned, like, shouldn't the, the Republicans win? But because it's owned by me, it's not counting. It's counting as occupied. Which is, oh my god, that's so stupid. What, what, why can't I just give you land? 
I mean, I know I'm not your ally, but we're fighting on the same side. That's the problem, right? And I can't just give up land. Can I give it to, like, France or something? Be like, France, you, you sort this out. Give control of state. Here. Deal with this crap, France. Just, just deal with that crap, right? Sort it out. I, I would send you these, but I'm not sure I could send tiny bits. We'll try. Um, free civilian factories. I guess. Uh, um, I guess we also want more military factories, so let's get more of those. Try not use places on the coast because I'm going to need them for more uh, ship production. Which I need to research before we get there. That's going to be the issue. Right, there we go. I have to research some ships so I can get myself a navy. But for now, I think this is a good place to end it. Um, we've managed to push into France now. Uh, the Spanish Civil War is, for all intents and purposes, over because Republican Spain doesn't have a foothold in Spain anymore. But it's still going because they've got footholds here and because technically the wrong person owns the territory here and all kinds of jazz like that. Uh, what else? What else? What else? What else? Finland. We're about to land our forces over there and help out. They are probably fairly close to giving up. We need to make sure Helsinki doesn't fall. If they lose their capital, they'll probably collapse. But I've been at Realism. If you've enjoyed, please like, not subscribe. Please consider subscribing. And until next time, just remember to stay shiny.